Sure. I think one of your superpowers as a beach volleyball player is that you're such a good partner. Um, I talk to Delaney about it all the time. That I think you are the perfect person to play with pretty much anybody, but especially Tim, because you are so positive. But it's not this, like, fake positivity. Like, it's a constructive sure. – like, you're talking about gratitude, but it's a constructive gratitude. It's not like you go out there and you're like, well, it doesn't matter if we lose. Right. I'm just grateful to be alive. You yeah, know? yeah. It's a good – like, it's a sort of freeing – gratitude because i remember we played in la paz mm-hmm. and i gave up like three or four in a row and i called time out and didn't tell you and i just started walking away and you like came over put your arm around me he's like you can tell me next time you're to call time out man <laughs> 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 you're like i got you i got you <laughs> then we won the match and then we won the match it was awesome <laughs> so i think so much of um just i think you make everyone around you better when you're on the court and i think that tim's growth is a huge credit Obviously, to all the work that Tim has put in, and, and it was going to happen eventually, but I Definitely. think that your energy on the court has probably expedited that. So I think sure. that Brandon Joyner plays his best volleyball with you as well. Yeah. I think you get that out of pretty much anyone you play with. Yeah, I appreciate that. And I think, uh, you know, I, I want to be the best partner because it's just me and you out there. And so, yeah. however, I can make you play the best volleyball and whatever that looks like, then we have the most success. Um, and I think, you know, just the dynamic that Tim and I have, it's just, has, it's just worked well, you know, like you said, I, I'm going to be that good guy or that good partner to, to everyone. Um, but I think it just might've been that little extra juice that, that Timbo needed, um, <laughs> to just get the fire blazing. Yeah. Sometimes you know? the personalities just have to mesh. Yeah. But there's definitely a handful of guys I can name right now that are not having the success they should be having Yep. purely because of the kind of teammate they are sure or they're just not um meshing right with with that particular yeah. partner but in this sport like what are the chances you get that perfect guy yeah. like you have to be able to adapt i, I th- honestly think that's probably the mo- least talked about and most valuable skill like if there was like a you know video game meter it should have that in there like teammate ability yeah mm-hmm. whatever it is like do you make your teammates better and some people are like a two on that, but eight eight out of ten on every other category and not getting the results. Yep. It's unbelievably valuable. Back when I was at Long Beach, we had Karch come in um, to talk to us one day, and he Who? talked about Karch. <laughs> <laughs> you familiar with him? <laughs> um, he came in to talk to our team, Niper, brought him in to just chat and uh, one thing I remember him saying is that when he was on the court, he wanted to make volleyball easier for his teammates, mm. easier for his teammates. And I think subconsciously, I I was an O2 when I played at Long Beach, which meant I was there to pass the ball, dig balls, and not make mistakes hitting the ball. Mm. And that was it. I had Lotman on my team my first year. It was like, set Lotman every ball. <laughs> He'll crush everything. Kyle, we're going to get you like five or seven sets. Don't <laughs> make a mistake. Yeah. Just put the ball in play. You don't, don't have to get a kill for all of them. Kill. Put three away <laughs> yeah. and make the other two in play. And just you know, pass we the ball block. well. Um, and then fast forward to freaking nine years later my last season of switzerland my head coach was this czech guy who played the national team forever i had him for two years he was amazing and the nicest compliment he gave me was that he's like we play better when you're on the court because you make volleyball easier for the guys around you Mm. and i'm like dude that is really nice to hear that's awesome i love that yeah and so i think you know, I think in the same way when it comes to beach, like you have to touch the ball so well and so clean and, and there's so many ways to do it. Yeah. And if it can be easier for my guy to be the best player, then perfect. That's what I right. want to do. Um, and so, yeah, it's it's yeah, I'm just thrilled. I'm just thrilled. to have. Yeah, it's like at the end of the day, the the goal of the game kind of gets lost with people. It's just about getting points, whether you make them or your partner makes them. Right. Doesn't matter. But if you can make your partner make more points, like that's an unbelievable skill, that's right? A skill. Then you can just you can do actually have to do less, take pressure off yourself. And but I think people don't think about it quite as much. It's kind of like what April was saying a little bit, right? She's like, just you guys gave it one point, but made it look like three. Correct. It's like she kind of sees it differently. The value of one point. Mm-hmm. She's like, doesn't matter how I lost it. I lost one point whatever and she's able to just move on right away no matter what happened i think that perspective changes as you 
become a veteran and get older, you're like, it's literally just how can I get more points and where can I get it? And getting it from these small places is like where you start to learn. 